So I've just put on my Ultra Care Tight Firm and Fill Face Serum. So this is your Botox in a bottle without the nasties, without the injectables, um, and also gives you a facelift in 30 minutes. See? It's starting to work already. <laughs> Next is our gorgeous... Uh, What's it called? Nutrich Instant Radiance Beauty Balm. It's big names. And I love this. It's a gorgeous um, apricot primer. Uh, you can use it as a moisturizer. And I just prefer to put it on over the top of my moisturizer because I find that it just adds that little bit. Uh, it does give my skin a radiance and then of course it also acts as a primer perfect so I'll just give that a minute the foundation that I'm using today is our amazing NC perfecting foundation this is my everyday foundation and the one I just love I'm using a brand new one I love opening a new one and I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand so that you can see it. Now, this is an oil-free foundation. However, um, for people who have dry skin, who don't normally, um, you know, want to use an oil-free, it's actually really good. So I always start in the middle of my face and work out and up and then down. There's my lunch nearly ready. So it's just awesome. I love it. And I love using the beauty blenders. Sometimes I use a brush. Normally I use a brush at home. Um, but this is awesome. Make sure you get to the hairline. I need to look a bit closer. Can't see myself in my phone without my glasses on. And I always just go to the jawline because your makeup really, you should not be able to see it, I don't believe. And you don't want it to get on your clothes, so that's why I don't go down, especially for everyday makeup. So, yeah. How's that look? Look all right? I'm really, really warm. My cheeks are a little bit flushed. Um, so that's why I look a little bit pink. Okay. So that was the perfecting foundation. I actually use nude, color nude, nude. The next thing I'm going to use is our liquid um, cover concealer. I can't read it, so I have to remember. Liquid cover concealer, it's a smoothing concealer. Um, you always twist clockwise and sometimes you need to twist for a while, see? So it just comes out like on a little brush and I always put it underneath and I always put some on my top lip lid as well. Um, I'm quite, as you can see, I'm quite dark around my eye area. And, you know, I very rarely do these sorts of videos because I literally just cannot see. So I'm just going to do it like this to show you. I'm just going to get the little pointy corner. That's better. Look at that. Nice and bright. And see how it just totally neutralizes those purple tones around our eyes gets rid of all the darkness. And there are smaller ones, which I haven't got right with me here. See? Love it. 
lovely. Just lovely. Okay. So the next thing, and always make sure that you dampen these sponges. It does make it go a little bit further um, and gives a better, um, easier for them, easier to use them basically when the sponges are damp. Mine is already damp. Okay. So glasses so I can see what I'm doing. If you do have, and because I've got concealer on here, so my chin sometimes gets a little bit red and so does my nose. So that little bit of concealer will help. This light's not very forgiving, is it? Not at all. Okay. And we have these this beautiful new Kabuki brush. It's just divine with its matching little beauty blender with the flat. This is really good for um, stippling, okay? Lovely. So they're in the Christmas brochure. And first of all, we have the iPlay palette. And what you'll notice when I open this up, it's absolutely beautiful. This is the color of Christmas. Now I'm not, huge with eye makeup um, but I will tell you that these are just gorgeous look at the color and the, the color payout on them is really really good so we have gentle honey sweet kind lovely and darling <laughs> that's what they're called Okay, so I'm going to start with this one at the top here. And I'm just going to put some on the corner. Bearing in mind, when I do one eye, I actually can't see what I'm doing. So... If it actually works, that's always a good thing. Okay, now I'm gonna get a pinky color, this one up here. And I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Now you can do it with a brush. You can do it with your finger, because this is a really nice pearly sort of color. Okay, and then blending is always the key. I'm just going to use, I'm going to use this mirror because it's easier for me to see. Blendy, 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 right up. Okay. So it's all about blending. If you don't blend, well, that's always a problem. A little bit more pink. There we go. What are your thoughts? It's very cute. I do like it. Bearing in mind, I really can't see what I'm doing. So that is using gentle and sweet on my eyes. Okay. Okie dokie. And when you wear glasses, of course, you can always afford to go um, a little bit darker, a little bit more full on. So next is our NC Brow Defining Pencil. They are self-sharpening, uh, wind up, and they also have the little brush at the other end. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows, which 
are never very fun to do. I'm not a fan of brows, doing them all the time, but the best thing is um, short feathery strokes. And you know, this, every all the tips that I give people, they're really for people who want an everyday makeup. You know, you're not necessarily into a glamour makeup every single day and all of the things. You can see I need my uh, eyebrows redone. Okay. And always remember that eyebrows should be sisters, not twins. <laughs> Mine are definitely not twins. This one is always really nice. This one, not a fan of. Anyway, brows. Fun, fun, fun. The next thing I want to show you is our gorgeous new beauty blush and highlighter palette. Okay, now in here, look at that. This has blushes, highlighters, a little bit of, um, bit of um, highlighting and contouring, bit of blush. I'm going to use our new Kabuki brush as well. So I'm just going to do a little bit of blush. This one is called Sunshine. So Radiant, Sun, Radiant, Sunshine, Harmony and Divine. So a little bit on my brush, tap off the excess. I'm just going to dot a little bit up my cheeks. Okay. Then I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting just on my eyebrow, under my eyebrow. It's my chair. A little bit of contour. And I'm just going to get my sponge again. Don't know why my nose is so very shiny. That's better. Just using the mineral makeup. Has its own sponge in there, but this is out of my palette, out of my kit. So I'm just going to get a bit, just less shine. So that's that. Um, so, you know, I'm not a very big contourer, but I do love the highlight colours in this, especially this bronze, but this is beautiful around your eyes. But you can also use it in various parts of your face as well. Um, but highlighting and contouring are not my big strong suit. So I tend to be everyday makeup. And then we have our new lipsticks. 
Um, these are our Comfort Shine lipsticks, okay? And I'm going to use the blush petal one. No, blush pearl, my my apologies. Honey peach, it's a little bit apricotty for me. So that's this one. Just need a bit more of a top lip. <laughs> so that's that one. And before I go anywhere, of course, I'm just going to use some eyeliner in Jet. This is our black one. And again, I'm just going to use my mirror and I do it right down on the lash line short feathery strokes okay i actually do this side by feel i actually cannot fit cannot see it thoughts now i'm not going to go underneath because I'm just going to get my little angle brush. See how it's an angle and it's quite firm. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over that and just smooth it out a little bit and then just use whatever is on my brush. Trying not to get it in my eye because Now, I don't have the new mascaras, otherwise I would use them. Um, but that just shows you our new NC Beauty makeup. So that's using our eyeshadow palette and the new blush and highlighter palette as well as the new lipstick. Um, and like I said, there is another one. Um, I hope you like that. And if you'd like to see this live, you can come along and um, come to a second uh, Christmas launch with me and see it personally and try the products yourself. So I'd love to see you there. Thanks for tuning in.